dear friends, greetings from the Basilica of the Annunciation and what we are reflecting on in this clip is especially the synagogue where Jesus went and proclaimed how the Spirit was upon him and it's where he also made his mission statement, his manifesto, his program of life of what he had come to do on earth here as a savior of the world. Dear friends, welcome here in the synagogue church here in Nazareth where Jesus on the Shabbat is believed to have come and spoken to the people and said today what you have heard is accomplished and this is especially from the Isaiah prophet Isaiah uh, 61 chapter 61 and especially in the gospel of Luke chapter 4 verses 14 to 21 we are going to see more of what happens in this place here in Nazareth in the place where Jesus on the Shabbat on the Sabbath day came as a good Jew to preach, to participate in the events here in the synagogue. And it's so beautiful that when he finishes reading, all eyes are fixed on him, as we can see right now in this entrance of the synagogue. So that we free 
mission, as a voice for Jesus' mission, is to free those who are in prisons and then to give sight to the blind. There are many people who can't see goodness, they can only see negativity, they only see bad things. Our mission as Christians, as a voice for Christ, was to help people to see good, even in every challenging situation. Sometimes we face challenges in life, and those challenges, however small they are, they block us from seeing the many great things that God does. He has set us, set us to set the oppressed free. We are them who are oppressed and crushed down on the ground. The Lord is sending you and me as a Saint Christ to go and free, to set this oppressed free. They are people who are pressed, crushed down. Maybe we could be the ones who are pressing down others. Let's stop it. Let's stop pressing down others, crushing down others, dumping down others with our words, with our actions. Enough of our ways. Let us be part of those who build others up, not those who crush others down. This is our mission. This was the mission of Christ. And he has sent us to proclaim the year of favor. We have of unlimited favors and blessings of the Lord. We have received the Lord, and the Lord sends you and me to be people who tell the world the many blessings, small or big, that God has done and to each one of us. This is the message. This was the mission statement of Christ that He came and read prophet Isaiah 61 and he said, The Spirit of the Lord is our name. And when and when he had finished this, he said, all eyes were fixed on him, as we can see here in this picture here. Yeah. All eyes were fixed on him. And he says, today what you have heard is fulfilled in your hearing. It's like saying, what you have heard is applied to me. I am the look awaited Messiah, that Jesus says. It's all what you have heard me say is applied to me because it is me, says the Lord, because it has been sent to who have been anointed to free the captives, to bring prisoners free, to set all others to, to, to heal those who are broken hearted, those who are wounded because in today's world there are many people who are broken hearted or whatever like that. So it is the Lord. And dear friends, the same mission of the Lord, the Lord was not selfish. The Lord was not selfish. He shared this nation of him to you and me, baptized Christians, present the people who are present in Christ's world. He shared this mission of bringing good news to the whole world. We have been anointed by our baptism. We have become one family. And that we are the presence of the Lord. May we be people who heal us the way the Lord healed us. What you have heard today is fulfilled in your hearing. That whatever we are invited to do is that today we are at now. We are invited to free the broken heart, to heal those who are wounded, to be the presence of the Father, to be like Father's to be like Mother's Father, to be like, mother's father, to be like brothers and sisters, father, to be like friends to others, to set the fire of the Spirit to others. Dear friends, it's beautiful once again, and we greet you from this beautiful image here of the, the synagogue here, which we can even soon here in the Plaza, and where we see Jesus Himself, who now becomes the word that the one He has been speaking is fulfilled, that we've been waiting for longest, the longest awaited Messiah. It is Him, and so the question will be: With all my brokenness, where am I running to? With all my woundedness, my blindness, with all my being in chains, do I carry all those who are wounded, broken, in chains, those who are poor? Do I bring them to the Lord so that He may give meaning and more blessings to us in spite of our situations? Or we just abandon and we're insensitive to the people who are suffering? May the Lord help us to be close to the brokenhearted, to those who are poor in every way, to those who are in chains in every moment, form of chains, to be known to those who are struggling in life. This is this was the mission of the Lord. This is our mission and the mission of every human person, every Christian. And we greet you once again from this beautiful synagogue, as you can see uh, at that time, okay, when the sun started to breathe the air of Christ. When
when you came here. And may we continue cooperating in the events of the church, the events of the society. Because Jesus was not indifferent. He didn't say, ah, I am God. Why should I go to the synagogue? Why, why, why should I go to the church? He did not say that. He, as, together with Mother Mary and Joseph, when they are there, they came to the synagogue. And like in other synagogue, they participated in the social events of life, in the political events of life, in the religious events of life. May we also not be indifferent. May we also offer our time, our life, to meet, to relate with God and to relate with each other. This is the beautiful thing. If Jesus, who is God, chose to be close to the people in their ordinary way of life, like it is here in Nazareth, who am I to think that I, because I have a little bit of knowledge, I have a little bit of power, I have a little bit of money, then I feel like I am out of sufficient. We need God, even if we have money, power, energy, and everything. We need God. But we also need each other. When we have God and we have each other, then our life becomes meaningful. The Almighty God bless you, dear friends. Bless your families from here in Nazareth. Bless the good of your hearts. And we are praying for you. Carry you whatever you are going through. The Lord is powerful. And He will see us through. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessings from Nazareth.